track on this storm because it is moving towards the northeast at about 50 to 55 miles an hour. It's not so tight. Tornado potential is low in terms of actually being on the ground. Regardless, you need to be in that safe zone, lowest Power level west. And this is a mess. I mean, look at where people originally were going around. Big this. thing today, and you can still hear that creaking in the wind from these uh, the trees. I mean, we're looking around a quarter of an inch of ice, which is what we expected. I mean, Reporting here live in South Haven, the top of Mississippi, I'm Fox 13 meteorologist Yasser Kish. That, there's another cold snap. We're tracking for the end of the work week. Come Thursday, Friday, we could have high temperatures back into the 30s. So if you like winter, hey, this is your week for we're you. Watching. There's actually two areas of low pressure that we're tracking. And both of these low pressure systems, they're going to be working together to make their way into the mid but Overall, the next 24 hours is looking good if you need to get out and prepare for this winter storm. A little bit right now. We do not have an active tornado warning. Wouldn't be surprised if this rotation continues to pick up just a little bit more in intensity that there we may is. see That's a it. brand new tornado warning. It. There you go. Tornado warning just issued for this. Look, we're on it for you here tonight, keeping you safe and up. A lot to get to in this forecast, and unfortunately, there still remains a lot of uncertainty. This is a difficult forecast. I have worked in South Dakota, uh, Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana uh, for more than five years, did a lot of winter weather. I've not dealt with a winter forecast this difficult, which is a slightest change having the biggest difference. So please bear with us, check back in. And just be prepared. That's the most important thing. We're going to be dealing with heavy rain, though, through your Saturday, especially late in the morning through the afternoon. As colder air arrives, eventually we're going to see a changeover from rain to snow. Saturday night through Sunday morning, and this is going to be accumulating snow. It's all thanks to these dual areas of low pressures uh, that we're tracking. Now, this one it's pretty well developed. It has a lot of snow and rain with it, but the other low just emerged out of the Rockies. It is beginning to strengthen and get its act together, and this is the low that's really making this forecast ever so difficult because there's a lot of variables that we're going to break down here, and this is why we still have that winter storm watch in effect through 6 o'clock tomorrow night till uh, 6 o'clock on Sunday night there, but plenty of clouds continue to stay with us throughout the night. Temperatures are going to be into the 40s, so why is this forecast so difficult? The timing trying to figure out the timing of when the cold air arrives to switch over that precipitation from rain to snow, that's still kind of up in the air and has a big impact on how much snow you see. On top of that, the track of the low we just so showed you and how strong it's going to be getting, how much moisture it's going to be able to throw up here, how much cold air it's going to be able to pull down depending on that strength. And again, a little bit of change in that strength, stronger, weaker, has a big difference on the forecast. And then on top of that, how much moisture are we going to get versus maybe some dry air filtering in and eating up some of those snow chances as well. So there's a lot we're trying to figure out and a lot we're going to continue to watch over the next 24 hours. But here's the best timing we can give you right now of when we think that snow could start flying for you. North of I-40 could happen as early as around sunset to maybe as late as 1 o'clock in the morning. Here in Memphis and along I-40 as early as 9 p.m. to as late as 4 a.m. That would really lower the snow totals if we saw that changeover happen that late in the morning and even further south in North Mississippi, midnight into 6 a.m. And so here's kind of the low end scenario. If things don't really play out too well for us to see a lot of snow, we're talking about maybe a dusting to two inches for much of the Mid-South. If things really come together, this would be the high-end scenario, maybe three to eight inches of snow along the I-40 corridor here in West Tennessee, two to four into eastern Arkansas, one to two in North Mississippi. Again, there's a lot of factors at play. We're going to continue to watch it. The snow's going to end early Sunday morning. It's going to be cold on Martin Luther King Day, but sunny with a high of 44, and we're melting everything in a dramatic way come Tuesday with highs in the 50s before another cold snap on Thursday. Thank you, Gazer. You know, with winter weather in the forecast, Streets, those uh, streets are so treacherous, and I think we've got an example that you're going to love. Here is Fox 13's Yasser Kishk, who dug through the ice and snow to explain how bad they are. Yasser, show them what you've got. 
Yeah, I'm holding right here. This is the 10 inches all compacted together from a parking lot, right? A sidewalk. This right here is what folks are driving on, right? This is what we're going to be having to melt through. All of that snow and ice compacted to about an inch or two of ice. And this is what's going to be such a big problem for folks, right? Just driving around. This is what's on the side roads, right? Again, those parking lots, the sidewalks, your driveways. And something I really want to emphasize, our cars, right? That snow is already kind of melting, compacting on it. It's turning to ice on the underneath side as it continues to compact and melt. And when we go through this thaw and folks begin driving around, roads begin to get better, I cannot emphasize enough clear off your entire car, including the roof, because you're going to have ice missiles just flying off, hitting the person behind you. You don't want to break somebody's windshield or even uh, you be that person, right, that's receiving that ice missile from the car in front of you. So please, please, please clear off all the snow ice off your car. Like this example right here, that's not good because, again, that's going to be flying off later as temperatures warm up over the next few days and folks start moving around. And also, all this snow and ice that flies off, it's just going to add to more pain right on the roads themselves. It's going to melt again. You're not helping anyone by keeping that snow on your ice on your car. So please take it off, remove it. It just takes a few minutes, and it's going to help everyone and keep you and everyone around you safe as well. Reporting live outside the station, I'm meteorologist Yasser Kishk. All right, thank you, Yasser. Now